Hey, what's happening, guys? It is Friday, and I don't feel like doing any calculations or doing any soldering today, so I thought instead we would take a look at this guy here. This is the SQ ES126 Smart Screwdriver from Secure Mall. And yes, they sent this out to us free of charge for our consideration. I have done nothing with this other than charge it. So we shall go through it together. The SQES126 is a MCU based STM32 equipped with high definition OLED digital display sports type C interface 5 volt power supply and firmware. Okay. Operation method gear setting. Standby interface, press the A or the B key three times in a row, then select the working gear. And if you look here, you can see the little scale telling us working state. Long press B, enable LED smart lighting, press A, lighting function not enabled. Press A or B. Okay. All right. So in the package, we got that instruction manual. We have the screwdriver itself here, which is about five and a quarter inches long or 13 and a half centimeters diameter about a centimeter and a half or yeah, a little over half inch also in the box is this screwdriver set which looks suspiciously like a Weha precision screwdriver set that I also own. Give you a nice view on the different tips that are included. Probably some useful ones in there. Grab one of these out of here, little Phillips guy. Goes in magnetically. Okay, I pressed the button. It turned on. <laughs> I really don't get how you're supposed to use it. When I press the button, Oh, there it goes. That's unscrew. That's also unscrew. How the hell do we change directions? Still on unscrew. Lighting function similar. Long press A or B and gesture. Okay, so it says long press A or B and gesture which direction we want it to go. So long press now. Yes. Now it's turning in the clockwise direction. So we'll long press A and B again. Go counterclockwise. Long press. Long press.
yeah now it's unscrewing so we have that and then it said uh what press three times one two three and there is our gears whoops first gear second gear third gear fourth gear and the angle sensing mode so torque gradually decreases going down so maybe gear one has the most torque let's see so that's gear one that's a significant amount of torque I can't stop it gear four No, I can't stop that either. So it's hard to tell for me what exactly the difference in the gears is. Let's find something with some little screws we can take apart. All right, so I got one of these little meters out here. And I have it in counterclockwise. Yeah, I mean, that, that seemed to work fine. Let's see if we can change direction. Come on. Nope, that's still counterclockwise. Let's see what we got now. Yep, there we go. So we'll try and put that back in. Yeah, that worked. Oops. Let's go up to setting number one and see if we can reverse it. Yep, I didn't reverse it. Now? Nope. I don't know. What am I doing wrong with this? Long press A or B and gesture shaking the screwdriver counterclockwise. Okay. Come on, turn. Why don't you turn on? See the screws in the up position? That shouldn't mean loosen. Yeah, now it's on loosen. Okay. Yeah, I just, I mean, it works. To me, it's inconvenient, and I'm just as fast with a screwdriver that I don't have to mess around with the settings on. So, yes, it works. It's neat. It's about 100 bucks. Yeah. I mean, that's really all I can say for it. Does what it says it's going to do. Does it well. I don't know where I'd ever need it. But it works and it's neat. So I would like to thank Secure Mall for sending that out. And I will place a link to it down below where uh, you guys can check it out if you think you need a smart screwdriver. All right. Thanks for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.